This is our first ever episode of Behind the Scenes of Trash Talk Business Podcast. There we go. Behind the Scenes, episode one. I don't know if we'll ever do another one, but fuck it. All right. So here, here's why. Here is why we get practitioners from the Lees of the world who have made it and now are consultants to the Brads of the world who are 90 days into this hustle to with a guy in a couple weeks ago who was like, hey, man, I got a, a, a full-time job, but I'm doing this on nights and weekends. And this is the reason. Yeah. Because... I'm all about offering access, Casey and I both, offering access and opportunity to everybody. This right, we we I have learned from JRA by going to their website and and, and going to the University of YouTube, right, and, and learning. And now it's one of those we need people at all levels. We were talking a little earlier in the, in the in the episode, Brad, about you're in the lightning in a bottle phase. You got mm-hmm. it. It's good. It's awesome. You're celebrating on Facebook. You're doing all the right things. But there's going to be a week coming up here where your phone doesn't ring, and you know you ain't going to know your asshole from a hole in the wall. And you, that was you, last right? month. So, <laughs> see, yeah. you already had that week. Yeah. Okay, right? And, like, yeah. and, and, and the, right, okay, so that already happened because it happened to me, it happened to Casey, it happened to Lee, and now it happened to you and and me. It's I had I had a bad two-week stretch in August, and my GM was like, well, what'd you do last time? And I was like, fuck, I don't even remember. Yeah. I couldn't tell you the last time I had a, a, a week where there wasn't jobs, right? Well, and, and, what, and then I think I, also it is just there's – that way. Yeah, there's times where you'll find that shit happens the same. The same shit happens later on down the road, but yet it requires a different solution this time. And now you're just like, shit, how how do I figure this out now? But now you have at least a network to reach out to. Like that's why Andy and I became so close is because we had different markets, different setups, but we had same shit that we could relate and, to. And that and was the, the time, thing is, and we at the time we had a franchisor. Who had one fucking play, one fucking playbook? Did, Google it. N- did did not understand any other market, <laughs> and to a point at one point said, "Oh, contact JRA." Well, like fuck you. Why are we paying you to then pay another guy to get the fucking answer? Yeah. Right. Right. So I knew nothing about you guys, Leo. Then you sold Google AdWords and did consulting. And if I got a franchisor telling me that I need to go hire a franchise consultant. <laughs> Get fucked. Well, and that's right. That, that, like, that's that the, best, the biggest thing. That is, that is blunt as I can be. Well, and also if, if, look at the guidance aspect of it, right? Um, Brad, you you start off the right way, right? You you went to Lee and you're you're doing the thing. The problem is a lot of people get afraid of that first step of, well, I don't really need to ask for help or I can't afford to ask for help. But here's the thing. If Andy and I didn't get over our pride, this would never have been a thing we would have never met we would have been like oh i'm the best no i'm the best no i'm the best okay well fuck you fuck you too and that's the thing is like you got to get over yourself man like you are your biggest obstacle and you, you're doing the right thing like that's why you're on whether you're worthy or not like that's not even a that doesn't matter you're worthy because you're here you know uh, when brad had that big month and he'll tell you this he'll, he'll he'll vouch for me after he had that really big month i said brad I said, I'm happy for you, man, but I'm nervous as hell. He said, he said why? I said, because you're about to bust your ass. I was yeah. like, you're going to have a bad month here. Oh, my you're God. It's to be, you know, this this good forever. So I was like, I'm just going to prepare you. And you have a bad month. Last month wasn't as good. I haven't knock gotten updates on, on them how, how this month no. And he not, hasn't not even wood. gotten to January and February. So if oh you feel God. like if your butthole's hurting right now because of last month, you better be ready <laughs> yeah. for January and February. Well, and that's the thing. Well, it's like I saw that post, and I was like, this motherfucker, he's got no idea. He's got oh, no man. idea. Like, his truck is nice and polished. His shirt ain't even fucking stained up Get yet. Get the baby powder I'm like, ready. Oh, my like, God. He looks, <laughs> yeah. he looks happy. And, and it, it's not a defeat. It's just like those were the good old days. But mm-hmm. I'm only 38 years old. I got two bad arthritic knees. I can't haul anymore, right? So I had yep. to get up and out. And, and But I've known plenty of guys that have this, like, they have this expectation that every month is always going to be their best month, and they're always going to grow and scale. And it's like, that oh, is man. so unrealistic. So celebrate while you got it, but surround yourself with people before you need them because you're going to oh, need them. Well, I was yeah. trying to say in well, the post, I, like, you, hey, I didn't have a – I'll be right back, guys. I didn't have a, a a month like I had in July, and I was saying that hey, you know, I'm not God. Like, you know, yeah. I felt like we did okay, but we didn't do great. So, for me, I don't I haven't seen a July I mean, a January and a February. So, what's a bad month? Yeah. I mean, I did half the revenue <laughs> in month two as I did in month one. So I was like, ooh. <laughs> Uh, yeah, uh, yeah uh, a, a bad month is go a whole week without a job. Yeah. 
I did that. Yeah, that, that uh, <laughs> like, yeah. that's like that's that, like there's no dollars. So what, what? What on Sunday night you're looking at your schedule and there's nothing to do but about three or four networking events. Yeah, that, yeah. Tell, tell and you, you got employees. You know, Brad, Brad is probably better at branding in this stage of the game than about oh, anybody. Way so, um, so I mean, if you look, yeah. look right now. He's got got his shirt on. He's got his he's hat wearing on. His, he's I, wearing his colors. He wears that all the time. I just I just he's, got off the uh, truck. He's a, race, he's a racing fan too. Yeah. I walked so out Andy, of the you're, truck. You're you're the exception here. You're, you're the exception here. Brad Brad is a racing fan also. So he he's got a pickup oh truck. He's gonna do a uh, he's gonna do a wrap on, and it's, it kind of looks like a race car wrap for junk busters and everything. So he's gonna do well, and and he is uh, you know he's got all the right makeups of somebody that's gonna last in this business. Uh, you know he's yeah. he's a little he's nervous as we all were and and, and honestly I, that doesn't ever fully go away even no. when you get to my level no. or your level or whatever it doesn't go away. Yeah, Brad will do well because Brad's going to see through it and uh, he's also he's put himself in a position where he can't he can't fail. You know he's he's nope. taking those steps he can't fail so he'll do great with it. No, this will be this will be exciting. Um, and Lee can tell you our show prep for Lee's episode was all right. Your name is Lee. Good, let's go press the button. So Brad, we'll give you a little little. Uh, because you said you've never done a podcast before, right, Brad? <laughs> no. Is that, is that accurate? No. That's sorry. All, all right. This is as simple as it is. As soon as Casey gets back, we hit record and we just talk, right? I can pronounce her name, so that's already good. That's the biggest hurdle. Uh, and then we uh, – so but, but what I want you to do, right, before you go into it, I don't care if you got to go look in the damn mirror and give yourself a high five or, or give yourself a positive affirmation, right? If you think you can and you think you can't, you're, you're right. The old, you know, Henry Ford said it. Right. So don't think you're not worthy and don't think you right. You're already here. You're already ahead of the 99 percent of people out there that aren't willing to be entrepreneurs. They talk about it. They're entrepreneurs. They're on fucking Instagram. They're on Facebook. So I, I was in New York this weekend um, for a conference and I stayed through the weekend and it was fashion week in New York. I don't know dick about fashion, but I do know that every other corner we turned around was some skinny woman with, with high end clothes right? Doing an Instagram post saying, ah, I'm here at fashion week, right? You know what? My fucking ass was here in New York for fashion week too. I don't know dick about fashion because camera don't go with everything, right? But my point is, right? There's a lot of fake fucks out there. And, and if you're wearing the hat of your own brand, right? You own that brand. I didn't own my brand when I first started. I, I, I jumped on the, the, you know, I, I hooked my trailer onto a truck of a, of a franchisor, right? That, that drove us into the fucking mountain. So, you are worthy because you're here wearing your own brand, representing the business that you built with the support of others, right? And day one of entrepreneurship and not having a job, you already had a 99% of people out there because they're Thank faking you. it, right? And there's a difference between facing it while you make it, which is what you're doing, and faking it. And not even making it. They're just faking it. And they're they're faking it on Instagram. They're faking it when, when it comes to talking about the big game that they're doing. No, no, no. You're doing it. And even for the people out there, right, because we're getting way off our fucking soapbox now, but for the guys that are out there banging on the weekends, same thing. Right, you got to start somewhere. Lee and I started this truck on the truck on Chrysler, and we're proud of those humble beginnings. But our goal now is that you don't have to do it part-time for years. I, I spent years convincing myself I didn't have the money, I didn't have the education, I didn't have the title or resources to become a, an owner. And it wasn't until I get over my own shit that I jumped in. And I didn't really jump in with two feet because I jumped in with a franchise relationship. So it really wasn't until this year that I was like, okay, I finally own my brand. Even when I bought the business, I changed the logo, so it's mine. And that's a I'm 38 years old, right? It is what it is. So we all we all start at a different place, but the mindset has to be: I'm here. I'm going to face the challenges life throws at me while I make it. So there's my soapbox. We'll fucking cut this up and put it on the damn internet later. Damn, I missed a good one, huh? Uh, that was good. Fritos, Fritos aren't bad. Nothing you ain't heard before. Basically, yeah. fucking get out there and do the thing. <laughs> All right, so this has been – Taylor's going to hate me that we're just making up shit as we go. Trash Talk, business podcast behind the scenes. Boom. Lee, pleasure. Thank you, sir. And then Thanks, right, sir. we'll see you in about a month. Andy, appreciate it. Brad, good luck. And, thank you, uh, thank we'll you. talk to everybody soon. See Thanks, you, See you next month. Take care. All right.